three, two, one. So what is up guys, I am 63Z and if you have been watching the Dishonored 2 gameplays you would have seen that my second one has just gone up and I'm editing, I'm rendering out the third one and editing the fourth one as we speak, as well as editing another vlog while one other is rendering and I'm recording this and one other vlog right now. This is literally to explain why it took me an extra day to start the uploads for Dishonored 2. Now, I, I work with Adobe Premiere. I've always used Adobe Premiere because it's just always easier for me to use. It's always been the program that I use because it's something that's easy to me. It's what I really learned with. I used Movie Maker at first, and I used like three sets of free trials on Sony Vegas, and I had ran out of fake accounts to make, really. So I just stopped using Sony Vegas. And right at the time I stopped using Sony Vegas, I got into my IDM course, which gave me one 18 month of a free free subscription to the Adobe Creative Cloud, which is everything involved with Adobe, which is Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Media Encoder, um, Illustrator, all these things that is just really good to use because they're all kind of like meshed together almost, and it makes it a lot easier to just keep everything. That had ran out on Thursday. Thursday was when Dishonored 2 was released, and I opened up all my stuff to edit with. And you know, it started working in the morning. That's I, oh, I always open it up in the morning to make sure everything's loaded in. So that way, when I go to it later on that day, all I have to do is just go straight into it then. And you know, I just load everything in in the morning while I'm doing my shit. So it has its time to do its thing. And I don't even have to worry about waiting for it. It's just what I've done. It's just what my habit is. And it was all working fine. It was all working fine. But it did say I lost the licensing for it. And I was like, well, shit. Maybe it will still let me use it even though I don't have the licensing. So I left it throughout the day and I played those games of Dishonored 2, which by now should all probably be out. Um, actually, by now, three of those should probably be out. But the thing is, it didn't, like, as soon as I lost the licensing after like six hours of not having it, it wouldn't even let me get into it. It just kept saying, renew your license, renew your license. So I went to Adobe and I wasn't going to try and download it for free, like scam it and just get a, a legal cracked copy of it, whatever like that, because when it comes to these sort of things, I like to have a legitimate copy of the program, because that way if it does go wrong, I can always just be like, hey, help me out here, because when it comes to like downloading movies or that sort of stuff, like, yep, yeah, illegally download movies, that's, that's bad, but it's nowhere near as bad, and plus, if I do illegally download like programs like Adobe Premiere, um, there's a very good chance there's going to be a virus in there. But at least if I get the legal subscription of it and actually just pay for it, I know it's all going to be good and I'm not going to have any worries. The thing is, when I went to go into it, I thought, oh yeah, that's right, it's still under my, um, like my school ID with it, because it was done through an online university, which meant that they had to automatically set me up with an email for it. So I was like, okay, yeah, whatever, I'll just change the Adobe ID email that it's associated with. And when I tried to do that, because I didn't want to have it under that Adobe ID when I got my new crap, like my new subscription. Um, and but I didn't get the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, that's like 600 bucks for a year or something like that. All I did, I'll, I'll explain what I got in a minute. And I just wanted to change the Adobe ID email. And I couldn't get it, and I couldn't re-get a subscription until my Adobe ID email was verified in general. But I wanted to change it to my actual email address so I could, you know, get the emails and just have it associated with me instead of knowing with them and when I changed it instead of it being g at gmail.com which is one it's meant to be at gmail.com which is one it's meant to be because I get all the emails from that it went to g at gmail.com.au which means which every time I've tried to use that it's never sent emails to my email address and I don't know why even though it's just an added .com.au it just never does it so I was like well shit now I've got to try and change it over but after until I had it verified I wasn't able to change the Adobe ID and because I wasn't getting the emails to be able to verify that Adobe ID I wasn't able to change it back or anything like that I couldn't even delete the account to make a new one they didn't they don't give you an option to just deactivate your account so I'd already been going through this for half an hour on my own I decided to go on the online chat to try and see if I can talk to Adobe themselves because they didn't have a phone number at the time because it was like seven at night right so I wasn't expecting them to be open whatsoever. I went onto the chat thing so I could try and chat to someone and someone talk, started talking to me straight away. They didn't take it as I wanted to change the Adobe ID email that was associated with the account. They took it as I wanted to reset the password that is associated with that Adobe ID. I was like, 
and it took two and a half hours talking to this person. That's three. That's three hours total up to, up to this point where I was going around in circles with this lady, saying, oh, "I just want to change the Adobe ID. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is change the email with the Adobe ID so I can re-get a subscription and be on my merry way, get this all, get everything I need to do done." But it didn't occur to her that that's what I wanted, and she's being so stubborn about it, like. No, it's easy as doing this, when you go to this link and do this, I'll, I've done all these things even before I had her talking to me. And while she was talking to me, I was doing it over and over again, consistently. She said, oh, just reset your, your password and that will allow you to reset your Adobe ID. I'd done that multiple times before I even got to talking to her. So it didn't even work. And then when I was talking to her doing it, I said it's not going to work. And it didn't work. That's the thing. It didn't work. It wasn't even going to work. But I still tried it anyway and it obviously it wasn't going to work. But after two and a half hours, she's like, well, okay, I'm just going to delete the account for you since you've got no subscriptions on there at the moment, and you just got to make a new one. That way you can have everything fresh, there's no worries about it, and you know, you're good to go. Whatever you need, whatever you want, there's no identity clashes, whatever. I was like, okay, fine, that's cool, that's great, I'll, I'll just do that. But won't that disconnect the chat that we've got going? Because we're going for two and a half hours at this point. Two and a half hours. I've been dealing with this for three hours, and I was mad already. Because I wanted to have these Sony videos just edited. So I could just get them done, really. And so I was like, won't this disconnect the chat? She's like, no, 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 no. This is a separate um, tab. It won't disconnect us from the chat. As long as you sign out of it in this tab, you'll be fine. And it's, I was like, okay, sure, sure, I'll believe you, whatever. And I went to do it. I, as soon as I clicked sign out, it disconnected the chat. It disconnected it straight away. And I was infuriated. Like, I was so mad. It was unbelievable. I've never been so mad at someone for doing something so idiotic in my life. And it wasn't even the fact that, yeah, I said I will do it. And it's the fact that she said, no, nah, it won't disconnect you. Just go ahead and do it. And I trusted her. I trusted her completely. And it just was like she was trying to just get me to fuck off right out the door. Like, yeah, just go away. I'm sick of your shit. I've been I've been talking to you for way too long. Just shut the fuck up and go away. I was like, well thanks, thanks for this. So I spent another 20 minutes on my own just being quiet, trying to figure it out. And my brother came in and he could tell I was mad. I he could tell I was furious at this. At this point in time it was like 10:30 at night. It had been three and a half hours in total trying to deal with this. And he comes in and he's like What's what's even been happening? Because he he'd been keeping up with it because he's kept coming in and laughing that it had been taking so long. This chick was just so retardedly stupid with what she was saying. Toby came in and was like, well, "Let me see if I can try and do it then." Because obviously you're not getting anywhere. You're getting frustrated. You're getting mad. Just get, you had a fresh brain try it, and it might work. It might help, and you might get it done. Anyway, so I was like, "Fuck it, you go ahead." And I just lied on the bed for good thirty minutes. And after that, he just gave up. He gave up after 30 minutes, and I don't. I didn't. I would have given up after like five minutes, but he kept trying for 30 minutes. He tried to Google shit. He was trying to go through it all, and he got nowhere. Just as much as me. And in the end, I'm like, fuck it, dude. Just, just go do what you need to do. Um, because we were actually gonna play games after I finished editing two of the videos, so I could have them rendering while I just play games with him. It was after that amount of time, I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna try it again. But this time, I got. I went back onto the chat to see if I could talk to another person. Now this person, they didn't even do anything, anyway. So, I was just, I explained this all to him, it was about 10 minutes into talking to him, and I just kept refreshing the Adobe, I think, the Adobe thing, the Adobe thing, um, to see if it will, you know, magically want to work and just let it happen. So I was like, okay, let's just try it out. And eventually after 10 minutes, he didn't even do anything, he was just trying to get the situation sort of like getting to know what had actually happened to so try and help me sort it out. And in the sorting of this out with him, it had refreshed the page for like the thousandth time easily. And it had finally said this, this the email that I wanted it to be, .com. The, not the .com.au, but it went from .com.au to .com. And I was like, oh, thank God. And I pressed the verification link to try and verify the, the email and you could tell it was working because it was instantly I got a notification on my phone, my tablet, my iPod and my computer because that's what happens 
I have them all linked to the email address. So when I get something, no matter where I am, I will hear the email. Um, so I had all four go off like like that. They were all like do 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 like instantly. And I was like, okay, cool, sweet, I got it. And I went in there, verified it, done. And then you know I just bought the the the, the subscription because. There's a couple options. It was the photography subscription, there was the single app subscription, there was the Creative Cloud, and then there was the Creative Cloud plus the stock. Uh, I don't need stock images. Um, majority of Creative Cloud, I don't need. Uh, it was it was cool to have it as you know added extras with my course, but for the time being, I don't see myself needing the Creative Cloud, and I'm not going to need it for a little while because I'm going to be just doing editing. I don't really like need Photoshop because I don't really make thumbnails, um, and I have someone who can make thumbnails really well uh, if I want him to do it and he doesn't really mind doing it because it's usually just fairly easy stuff like we were seeing the other one the other day I was just on a Skype call with him sharing my screen and just getting him to talk me through making it really and it was just simple as shit but when I feel like I'll be starting to do thumbnails I'll just buy the photography one which is Illustrator and Photoshop which is only $11 a month for a year and I decided to just get the Premiere Pro uh, subscription which was $22 a month for a year as well um, so it's it's just really because a media encoder is free it's a free encoder through Adobe and I was like okay cool I don't need to pay for that it's already on downloaded it's it's fine I don't really need to subscribe to that so I just bought the Premiere Pro and then when I feel like I'll need to do thumbnails more and all that I'll just get the Photoshop stuff but it took like uh, all up, it took around four-ish hours. Um, because before I like properly started to try and work this out, I was just like trying to like go through it. Like it wasn't anything because I was just doing other shit at the same time. It took about four-ish hours to get this all sorted out. I ended up finishing it at eleven at night, and at this point, I was just so dead tired and so angry from dealing with this. I physically hit my table so many times, like a good kind of hit like it wasn't soft shit it was I was physically drained from dealing with a stupid lady that I just didn't want to edit anymore for that night so I just I played one mission with Matt on Halo which was only about 30 minutes worth of effort and then I watched a couple YouTube videos and just went straight to sleep I didn't even finish my YouTube that's how tired I was um, then yesterday I had so much to do to go through in the morning I was trying to get some of it edited I got half of one edited but then my friend needed some help and I gave her a lift home and we just ended up talking for a good couple of hours because I haven't seen her since really since high school a lot um, and I haven't really gotten a chance to catch up on everything so I ended up just staying there for a good couple of hours and then I went home to then go almost instantly straight back out an hour later to a barbecue my friend was doing because it's his last day at the house he got so I was like, okay, well, I can't, I'm not going to miss this just because I need to edit, because I'll feel like a jackass, and, you know, I barely ever get to see this dude as well, because he is so busy with his life that I'm, I'm going to take the chance to see him. And I know a lot of you guys will understand that. All of you guys should probably understand that. Uh, but when I got home, I instantly went back to editing. I finished one video, and then I got, I started rendering that out. That finished rendering just before I went to sleep, and I handbroke it. It only took two minutes to handbrake. So I set that to upload it overnight. The other one, I'd finished editing while, like, just as I set the other one to upload. So I just let that render overnight, which is the one that's actually currently uploading right now. The other one is, the first episode's already up. The first episode is 100% already up. Uh, the second episode is going up now, and the third episode is rendering right now. The fourth episode will be started in a minute once I finish uh, making this. And then after I finish editing that, I'll then have to make some more episodes obviously but I'll read it I'll end a oh, I'll end a render oh, uh, uh, I'll edit um, this vlog and the one that I'm recording after this uh, so I have some kind of consistency with the days because I said I consistently upload on a Wednesday and Sunday and I've been doing that as well as having the random bits of mission stuff that was to do with Titanfall 2 and now uh, Dishonored so I'm gonna have these edited for you guys that I actually watch. This one will go out tomorrow because it is Saturday now. So I'll have this edited today to go out tomorrow. Um, and then the other one I'll have edited like Monday or something to go out Wednesday for you guys. But that's been the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you understand the fact that I got delayed a good day and a half uh, for editing all these.
it was a lot of effort to try and go through and I was just so tired and exhausted. Hope you understand. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Here we go. Don't expect her anyway. Like, 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 being real and honest is yeah, no, you got to speak to you. Even if we're just chilling, what's the movie? Something like, because if it's something that we just feel important, that's the sole truth to. Like, if I say, you 